Hey guys, it's Evil Wonder Cover here, and uh, today I'm bringing you a review on a little program that I, I like to use. Now, I did recently upgrade to eight, Windows 8.1. If you want to see my video on that, click on the uh, video in this blue box right here. So, as you, if as most of you know, in Windows 8.1, they give you this little start icon. That if you press it, it will default bring you to this page. Now, if we go into your taskbar bar properties, you can choose it to jump straight to apps like I have here. But I'm still not a big fan of that. I'm starting to get used to it, but I'd still rather use uh, this program. So, in order to use this program, you need to open up Chrome. Yes, this is in Windows 8 mode. Um, go to start is back dot com this is a 30 day trial it is I don't even know how much it is for a two computer license it's three dollars um which actually isn't bad but I'm just gonna download it you have Windows 8 start is back 2.1.2 or Windows 8.1 start is back plus 1.0.2 I'm downloading the Windows 8 version So once that's done downloading, you want to show in folder, X out of that, and it will give you this. Now once you click on that, it will run in the installer, install for me, because I do have multiple accounts and only I want this. Now it will say please wait, oh wait, never mind. Um, 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 <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. So, now, once you installed it, it will just run the installer for legit a minute. Not even, so, if I go to here, this is a little, uh, preview of it. Um, if I go to here, search uninstall. Uninstall the program. Start. We'll restart my Windows Explorer. And now you see I'm back to the old one. So I'm just going to run this. It does that. Install for me. Restarts Explorer. And then you come back here and you have it. So I'm going to right click properties. And this will pop up. And I guess you can't make it bigger. So these are all the default uh, things I, I did not mess with any of these. With appearance, it will be like this by default. So if I come down here, this is what it will look like at default. I wanted to go with more square look to go with the rest of this, so I went with that one. And left the default button. So now when I open it up, it's more of a square champ transparent instead of the uh, rounded one. So when I log on to my PC, show desktop or start screen. When I close a modern app, um, what's to last use environment, start screen or desktop. I have desktop. And if you don't know what a modern app is, um, like say this Facebook app or say I go into weather. Now when I pull this down, it's going to take me back to the desktop. That's a modern app. When I press Windows key, show start menu. When I press Control plus uh, Windows key, brings up my Start menu. When I hold Windows key, do nothing. Focus on Charms. Now when I hold that, actually let me apply that first. Searches everywhere. So I left all these the same. And then went to advanced. Rename start screen apps to or rename rename start screen to apps and keep only modern apps there. I did not check that. Show taskbar on start screen. I do like that because if I go into my start screen, I still have this taskbar down here. So um enable shared corners between multiple monitors. I'm gonna go to ten. 
um, enable taskbar animation and start menu animations. Um, it works out the same. And then about, it's just normal. So, automatically check for new versions. Tick that. I have a trial day left. Um, but yeah. So that is pretty much it. Um, and here you have this PC, Connect 2. And actually, I need to go back into properties for this. Yeah, appearance. I don't want it to hide user pictures so that it will show my picture right here. So this is just like the Windows 7 one except for this skin that is more square than anything. Um, got stuff like your Google Chrome, you click right here, I have my bookmarks. After Effects CS6, Vegas Pro, Origin, my games, and you know, just the typical stuff. You can search, so if I search, let's say, After Effects, Adobe After Effects CS6, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas 12. So, you get the idea. Camtasia, no. Camtasia Studio 8. And so, it goes on and on. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.